Hello, Snackers. My name is Kareem Iskander. I'm a developer advocate with Cisco DevNet. Hey, everyone. I'm Matt Napoli. I'm a manager of developer advocacy with Cisco DevNet. Welcome to episode six of DevNet Snack Minute. If you haven't joined us before, which you should, DevNet Snack Minute is your weekly 10-minute all things DevNet, giving you a quick, fun way to learn about Cisco APIs, coding, and just some cool stuff you might want to know. And the cool stuff we're going to be talking about today are uh, DevNet study groups and preparing for your Cisco DevNet certification. So, um, you know, I was going to kind of kick it off and show people how to get to the study groups if it's something that they want to learn about. And so right now I'm at developer.cisco.com slash certification, which is your one-stop shop for everything around um, getting certified in Cisco DevNet. And if I scroll down here to the middle-ish area, uh, we will head over to the guided study groups. And so, Kareem, I'm going to kind of kick it over to you because you've run uh, one of these before. And actually, I, I've run a couple too. But I want you to talk about uh, potentially what the experience would be for a learner as they come into the study groups platform. So one of the things that <clears throat> that we, you know, even me when I was looking into getting a C my CCNA is uh, where do I get started and how do I, you know, start learning and know the topic that I need. And with the DevNet platform, the study group platform, what we've done is uh, we've put all of that together in one place for you. And it we've made it where it's ran by an instructor. One of us, uh, you know, I know, Matt, you said you mentioned you ran two, I ran one. Um, it was great. So the the reason why I thought it was really great is not only that I was able to interact with curious students and, and professionals that are looking to get their dev associate, uh, but also I was able to communicate with them with all of my content, post all of my code, every single topic we discussed and slides that we've mentioned on uh, that we ran through on the on the sessions that we had, it felt like a small community that that's kind of working towards a goal. And uh, I, I thought that was pretty cool when you know having that in the platform, and it allowed you to kind of keep that conversation going. It allowed you to get to know <clears throat> your your study group at, on a personal level, and I thought that was really fun. Yeah, I agree with you on that one. It's nice, um, even though I've run two of them, the first one had about 100 or so students. Um, and then I think yours had a, a, about 130. The last one that I had was a little smaller group. It was about 40 people. Um, but even with the larger groups, uh, there's a camaraderie that kind of comes along with being in this cohort. I mean, everything's virtual, and so it's it's not the exact same as being in a classroom, but uh, you know, it's it's this journey that a bunch of people are going on together, and so they support each other when we have questions. Um, they, you know, give cheers when people pass the exams, and um, so it's you know it's a nice little thing uh, that 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 can be added to your certification preparation journey uh, to have those you know those hundred people or those forty people kind of cheering you on from the sidelines. Um, so I, I really enjoyed that aspect of it. And what I thought, Matt, if I if I can jump in real quick here, what I thought was really really cool is the when you work with somebody one on one and try to help them solve their issue that they're having, whether that's getting their developer developer environment up and running, or you know they don't understand a concept within the associate exam itself. Um, once you help that person out, they tend to actually take the initiative and teach others. So I've noticed that. As soon as I passed that knowledge on, there was a, a group of people that would actually answer questions without me having to say anything. I thought that was actually really interesting. Yeah, and it, it helps them learn too. I mean, it's 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 another foundational thing that goes into their learning process. Um, I personally, the one of the things that I'm like is that I'm learning other things on top of the material we're providing from our students as well. Um, and so there's a portion that we go through for the, the DevNet Associate Prep that talks about um, procedural uh, infrastructure man or automation, infrastructure automation. And we actually used one of my students' um, vagrant files to explain um, procedural automation for infrastructure. And he was just like, thank you for showing that. That's so awesome. I was like, no, thank you for putting this together. You just created a development environment for everyone that everyone can repeat. And so, um, you know, there was a definite give and take from the uh, you know, the the mentor has become the mentee kind of situation. <laughs> and, 
and and just funny that you say that because I saw that conversation while you were running your study group, and I totally just stole that code and ran it for my study group, and they were like, "This is awesome! How did he? How can he? Like this? This made sense from deployment of the environment and using that vagrant vagrant file and the entire library." So I thought it was pretty cool. Yeah. The other thing that it forced me to do was brush up on some stuff that I didn't have either uh, a ton of experience in or, um, or you know, just needed to refresh my memory. Um, and so it's been fun to kind of put the demos together for each class to kind of tie in the, you know, to the topic at hand. Because one of the things that we try to do through these, and, um, you know, I, I think the students find this the most useful is take these learning materials and things that they're understanding and put them in the context of their real life situation. So, um, you know, right. through our, our, through our adventures, we've learned a lot of things and been a lot of different scenarios that, um, we can apply the knowledge that is being taught here. But, um, you know, those students haven't always had that experience. So being able to provide those demos as part of the learning, um, I think really makes some of this stuff really hit home for them. And I think this is where the study group actually is a differentiator between you going on your own to basically learning and taking passing the dev associate versus joining it is the edge that you get where, yeah, you're learning about the Meraki APIs or you're learning about the ACI automation, right? But you are just looking at it from an API perspective and how to implement it. Um, the thing that you get with the def with the study group is the actual hands-on experience from um, a group of people that do this for a living and utilize it day to day in their in their lives, right? So you get, yeah, I I can I can automate Meraki using these APIs, but I'm only doing that because I'm trying to get to this end result, which could be you know you know automating my template or you know my security or whatever it is, right? So you get to see that, which is something that you don't see if you're running it on your own. Yeah, I agree with that. It, it it definitely provides that that context for um, the learning materials. Uh, just as a as a quick note for those of you that that haven't been in a study group yet, but we actually um, we actually use. Uh, let's see if I can can find it here. Um, the DevNet Fundamentals course, Associate Fundamentals course, is kind of the main material for that. Um, the nice part of this course is that. Um, it ties directly into the exam topics for the associate exam, and everything is self-contained within the browser. So you can go off and build out your own developer environments, and you can go out and, um, you know, learn about all the tools that you're interacting with and have them installed locally. But sometimes that's just, you don't have the access to the, that on your machine, or it's just too much to learn as part of all of the other things that you're learning. And so that fundamentals course really ties in the environment into the browser so you don't have to worry about all of that stuff, uh, which is nice. And so uh, that's, that's another little nicety that's uh, in, in part of joining the study groups. <laughs> yeah, I totally agree with that, with that statement, Matt. So just tell me a little bit more um, about if, so I'm looking to get my, my uh, DevNet associate exam. I'm looking to pass it. What what do I need to do in order to get started with the study group? How do I sign up? What's the cost? Is it free? Is how does it work? Because I'm I'm not very familiar with that. Uh, yeah, that's a good question. If we go to the study groups again, um, so it was under certifications, and then if we head to the middle here, study groups is one of the resources available to us, and. I'm logged in, so I, I can just go right to my group. But um, if you want information on when they're running um, or more information about it that we're not necessarily covering here, um, it's an eight-week course. Um, we have quizzes every week. Um, hey, look, it's us. <laughs> I was one of the instructors. Um, you do need to kind of scroll through all of this. Uh, there's currently a special promotion going on with 50% off. Uh, you can use uh, Cisco learning credits. Um, I'm sorry, I don't know. I think it's I think it's eight learning credits to go through, um, or eight hundred dollars. I think is the current current um, is the current going rate of, uh, and that's with that fifty percent off. And because we're we're providing um, materials that are you know this is an eight weeks of a of a class uh, that we're providing for you there. Um, along with uh, the fundamentals course, access to the fundamentals course, and actually there's access to 
um, some materials in the Cisco Digital Library as well uh, to support your studies uh, on top of the fundamentals course. Do I sign up for all of that on, on DevNet or is there a, a different site that I get, get to? For that, yeah, this page right here, um, it has a has a registration. If I if I already belong to groups, so right here it would say sign up for study group. Uh, so we have certification Dev ASC dash group will take you to signing up for those study groups. Perfect, and anybody can run this, right? So if I do, I have to join one, or could I run one on my own if I want to? Uh, study group. Um, yeah. Uh, so for the specific DevNet associate. Uh, study group, you do have to join that. Those are formal classes that are provided through DevNet. Um, but if you wanted to run kind of for your own group of engineers, if you wanted to run your own study group for that, um, you could, and it doesn't necessarily need to be around DevNet Associate. Um, it can be for DevNet Core, it could be for uh, any dev other DevNet learning processes that you want to go through, um, because it allows you to kind of group people to together collaborate, um, provide access to learning materials. Um, you know, if we go to the resources section here within the study group, um, you know, you can put links in here, references to files, things that you want people to learn. Um, you can create what we'll call it a learning path. You can create a learning path right. within this platform. And then everyone actually also gets put into a discussion forum uh, that they can collaborate that also, of course, ties into WebEx Teams. Um, and, you know, to test anyone's information or, uh, uh, knowledge. Uh, you can also build out quizzes on the fly as well. So that the platform um, supports this DevNet Associate uh, offering that we have, uh, but you can also use it for your own kind of learning conglomerate, if you wanted to call it that. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I really had for for this week. I just wanted to you know get the word out there that there's a number of different opportunities to prepare for your Cisco or DevNet certifications, but uh, Cisco DevNet study groups are a really good way to uh, go through with a cohort, get access to a ton of good materials, and, and get it out there. So, um, you know, thanks for having that conversation with me, Kareem. <laughs> awesome. Thank you, Snackers, for joining us. Uh, for everything, head over to developer.cisco.com and check out what Matt talked about today. Appreciate your time. Thank you.